Hello and welcome back. Um, today I am back with another pregnancy update sort of video. Um, I'm actually doing a follow-up video which is more of a comparison video. Um, as I have shared in the past or you know if you're new here, I have a little boy who is four years old and I'm currently pregnant with our sweet baby girl. So I have experienced a pregnancy of both genders. Um, there's a lot of myths and um, wives tales and things that like that that discusses um, the difference in pregnancies with different genders and so I figured I would kind of do my own spin on those types of topics and basically just share my experience and um, you know things of that nature. I also received a few questions uh, for a follow-up pregnancy update so I will be answering a few of those at the end of this video as well. Um, so go ahead and stick around. So I always have a set of notes to kind of keep me on track because I will often go off on tangents and forget where I was and you know things of that nature. So I will probably be looking down to kind of like keep me on track. So just a little FYI. So I'm just going to start from the very beginning and uh, kind of like the first stages of pregnancy, like finding out I'm pregnant and things of that nature. So the first one I have is a missed period. And on both pregnancies, I have never really had like completely regulated menstrual cycles. So I, you know, I would have a cycle every single month, obviously, but um, it was never like to the very like date and things of that nature. So sometimes it would come a, l a little bit later than it did last the month, month prior to. Um, so it was kind of just like fluctuating. So with my son, he, I think I, I found out I was pregnant around the six week mark for him and I had a missed period, but I, you know, with those, like I started getting like symptoms of beginning my period. So I kind of just assumed that that was what it was. And then obviously once it went on for so long, I was like, okay, there's something going on here. Um, and then with their sweet baby girl, I actually found out at five weeks that I was pregnant. And that is like a whole other story. So if you actually want to hear the story of finding out about my pregnancy, um, you can check out the first pregnancy, which is like the surprise I'm pregnant video. Um, and I'll also link that above here. So um, the second one is breast changes and like what I mean by that is like soreness and things of that nature. Now that is another one of those symptoms that I actually will have when I'm about to start my cycle. So for both of them, I actually thought that it was just that. It was like the beginning of the symptoms for getting my cycle. So um, obviously, like I said with Henry, I, um, I kind of like after it went on for so long, I was like, okay, maybe I should like take a test and find out. So then with this baby, I actually found out earlier on. So before I actually started having noticeable changes and symptoms and things of that nature, I actually found out beforehand. So a little bit different with that one. So as far as my next one, which always comes with the first trimester. So pretty much all of these I've mentioned so far, all first trimester symptoms. Um, this one is tiredness. And with my son, I had severe, severe tiredness. And I don't know if because during this pregnancy, I have a toddler to take care of. So the tiredness wasn't quite so um, prominent. As I had mentioned in my pregnancy update video, discussing like, you know, my pregnancy up until this point, um, I was sleeping a lot during my first trimester with this baby because I wasn't sleeping a lot. I can't really say that, but I was lounging on the couch almost all day long because I was so nauseous and sick the whole entire first trimester. So um, I can't really say that the tiredness is the same with my son as it was with this baby because uh, like I was saying with my son, I was so immensely tired that I like, 
couldn't even function. It was just not even an option. And like I said, I don't know if that just doesn't feel as severe this pregnancy because I do have my son to take care of on a daily basis. So I don't really have the option of just like lounging around and sleeping. But if I'm being 100% honest, I really do feel like it is less severe this pregnancy than it was with my son. Um, just because, I mean, I had actually slept through work because I was so tired and just like so exhausted. It was just like, I was in a whole other world. It was like, and no matter, I could sleep the entire day with my son and then wake up for like two hours and still sleep all night long. It was just like, there was not enough sleep for me to have had during my first trimester with my son. So definitely different, I, I would have to say. Um, and then as I was just kind of mentioning, morning sickness. So with my son, I had no morning sickness. I was completely fine. I like the only really way that I knew I was pregnant, as I had mentioned, was just like very subtle, normal symptoms with my son, like tender breasts and things of that nature. With Henry, I had literally no, no, no morning sickness at all. So when I started having morning sickness with this baby, it was like completely throwing me through a loop. I just had never experienced it before. It was just something completely unusual to me. So definitely very different as far as one versus the other on that scale. So mood swings. Now I had discussed this in my pregnancy update in my previous video. A lot of these things I've kind of probably touched base on a little bit um, just because you know, I discussed all of these things in that video. Um, but the mood swings, I never had any of that with my son. Um, um, my husband and I always joked around that my husband was the moodier one than I was during my first pregnancy with our son, Henry. So definitely like way different because as I had mentioned in the last video, I have been moodier for myself than I typically am. Um, with this pregnancy, I, yeah, I'm just moodier. I'm way less patient than than I typically am. And you know, that whole thing. So definitely, definitely different between the two. Um, I also have, it's a, the other symptom is change in taste and sensitive smell. Um, with Henry, I think that kind of goes hand in hand with the nausea. I did not have any of that with my son. Um, but with this one, I was very sensitive to everything. And I actually just made a discovery within the last week or so. Um, my husband loves Kerrygold butter and we started using it in the beginning of my pregnancy and my entire pregnancy, I hated it. It tasted like cheese to me. It had it like the smell of it was like, so like foul smelling to me and everybody I talked to in my family loves Kerrygold butter. So they're like, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. I don't see that. I don't smell that. I don't taste that. None, none of that. And up until this last week, I, I haven't been able to, to mess with it. I didn't like it. I would choose like any other butter that was not as like extreme in taste to me. And, um, as of this past week, I don't notice any of that anymore. So I guess it has like changed the way I taste things. Um, and I never would have expected that ever. Um, just completely throw, it's just like bizarre to me. So bizarre because I'm like a foodie person. I love food. My husband's the same way. My son's the same way. We love food. I'm not a picky person as far as that goes at all. And so to have such a weird aversion to a brand of butter was just like, just so weird. And then now to taste that same butter and be like, oh, it doesn't taste weird or have that smell or anything like that. It's just unexpected, bizarre, bizarreness. So um, as far as, like I said, with my son, I didn't really have any of that. With this baby, extreme. <laughs> Everything in that area to the extreme amount just so, so extreme. So um, I also have round ligament pain and I decided to list this one on my own because I had this extremely bad with my son. Um, he was also my first baby. So I know that sometimes, you know, with your first baby, you're doing a lot of stretching and expanding. And then with your additional pregnancies, it doesn't 
like stretch and expand so much because you've already done it one time. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But what I will say is I have a friend that had a little girl first and then had her son second. And she said that she had extreme round ligament pain with her son and she had none of that with her daughter and things of that nature. So it kind of went along with what I felt and I was just completely miserable <laughs> my entire first pregnancy because my body just felt like everywhere was stretching and expanding and it was just so uncomfortable. And, you know, with this pregnancy, I've had none of that. I've had very like very seldom um, any pains and aches or, you know, things of that nature. Like I was saying in my previous video, I will wake up now and be like, oh wait, I am pregnant, like I'm pregnant. Which as, as I'm getting closer to my third trimester, that's starting to fade with that like forgetfulness because I wake up and she's moving in my belly and I can feel it. So um, definitely don't have nearly as much round ligament pain or just general pains and aches like I did with my first pregnancy. So I would say that that's definitely a comparison between the two gender pregnancies. Um, like I said, no legitimate truth to that. It's just something that I feel like I experienced. And then I also have friends who've experienced the same thing. So that's why I go with that. Um, I also have one that is sweet versus salty. And if I notice like a difference between the two genders, and um, what I will say is that with my son, I pretty much could eat anything throughout my entire pregnancy. It wasn't like some things just didn't taste good or sound good or, you know, things like that. I just didn't really have any cravings at all really with my son, I wouldn't say. Um, and it's been completely opposite with this pregnancy with our little girl. I crave tons of sweet, mostly fruit things. So like I could eat my weight in fruit like every single day, I never get sick of it, that kind of a thing. Um, and then, like I said, with my son, it was like food in general just sounded good to me. I like, if anybody was cooking some kind of meal, I was like, oh yeah, that sounds great, like right on the money. And then with this pregnancy, it's like, oh, like this, that, like that's what we're having for dinner. I don't know. Not really crazy about it. So um, I definitely will say that. Like I said, fruit at any moment during this pregnancy would be great. Um, with my son, it was like, yeah, that's good. And like everything sounded good. So not exactly like right on the money with that question. But what I will say is that like with this pregnancy, maybe this is a better way of answering that. With this pregnancy, savory food does not always sound good. But with my son, it was like any meal sounded good all the time. Savory food always sounded good. That sort of a deal. So kind of close to answering that question. Um, and then I also have heartbeat, the variations in heartbeats, um, because I think the wives tale is that the girls will have a higher heartbeat than the boys. Um, and in my case, that's actually the opposite. So um, my son was, I think his heartbeat was always around like the 160s area. And then this baby girl is always in the 150s. So it's um, the opposite from what they say to me. Um, but, you know, that's such a small portion of any of that. You know, like I said, none of this is legitimate comparisons. But just in my personal experience, um, my son's heartbeat was way faster than, not way faster, but was faster than our little girls. Um, along the same lines of that, is the bump. Um, a lot of the time I think they say if you carry your bump high, it's a girl. Um, and if you carry your bump low, it's a boy. Um, in my personal experience, it's the opposite. Um, I carried my son very, very high, like very, very high. And it's funny because when I look at our or my baby shower pictures from our son, I had our baby shower, I think like a month before he was due. And he was just so high up. You could just see, I was wearing a dress and you could see him right under my chest. He was just right there. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, he's up in your ribs. And I was like, so uncomfortable because of that. And um, so far with this pregnancy, I'm not nearly as far along as I was in that picture as I am now, like now, um, but she seems to be lower, although like sometimes she'll be up higher. So it really just kind of depends at this point. Like I said, I'm not far enough along to really gauge if she's lower than my son 
was. But as far as where I can feel her, she definitely does feel like she is hanging out a little bit lower in my body because with my son, I could feel him in my ribs all the time, all the time. It was very uncomfortable. And so with her, she is definitely way lower, way, way lower, um, right in my like waistline area. And that's usually where I think I can feel her. And sometimes she's starting to poke out on the sides, but um, yeah, definitely doesn't feel nearly as high, but I, like I said, I'm not as far along as I was with my son when he was real, real high. Um, and then I also have this one. It says shiny and hair versus like dull hair and dull skin. Um, and what I will say is with my son, I had the most dry hair, dry skin. Just, I looked like he just sucked the life right out of me. Um, I didn't really wear makeup during my first pre pregnancy because my skin was, like I said, so dry. It just looked terrible on my skin it just I couldn't put enough lotion on I was like constantly trying to take care of my skin and my hair and um I just couldn't do it he, he just sucked all of that out of me and with this baby girl I don't feel like I look that way um I definitely feel like I'm not um I like kind of I don't know I wouldn't say I look oily either but I just feel like I'm not it just feels different. I don't feel as dry as I did with my son. I couldn't, I didn't style my hair. I honestly was just a big hot mess whenever I was pregnant with my son. And this time I'm able to style my hair. It doesn't look dry and frizzy. Um, my, I can wear makeup. It doesn't look like all dry and crusty on my skin. Um, whole hot mess with my son. <laughs> And this time, I don't, like I said, don't feel that way at all. I feel like I can wear makeup, which is interesting because the wives tale is that the girls will steal your beauty. Not the case this time, not the case with me at least, which is, I'm glad because I was like, I wanna just look cute like all these other pregnant women do, you know? When you're pregnant, I feel like you can look around and see all these other pregnant women and you're like, wow, they look so cute. Like, why can't I look like that? Definitely felt that way with my first, my first pregnancy. This time, like I said, not, not as severe at least. I mean, I always can look around and be like, wow, they're really cute. They're a really cute pregnant person. <laughs> um, moving on. Um, along the same lines with that I have listed here is pregnancy acne. And with my son, along the same lines, he was stealing all the moisture out of my skin. And I don't know if that is what caused the severe, severe acne that I was experienced with him, but um, severe acne. I mean, I actually still have scarring on my, my cheeks here from having a severe acne that I had during his pregnancy. And I've always had like minor breakouts um, before having children in general. It would just be minor, it would come with, you know, my cycle and I would just get like one or two and then it would pass with my cycle and that sort of a thing. This was full on acne. It was just like, like I said, it's called, it caused scarring on my face. Um, I have, like, I mean, I've, I have videos of myself without makeup on, so you can probably tell a significant difference between when I'm wearing makeup and when I'm not because I have so many, like, scars and, you know, just skin damage from that pregnancy. Um, and I've never really discussed that at all, but I definitely had severe, severe acne with my son. Um, as far as this pregnancy goes, it's kind of more regular. I'll get a, a breakout here and there. Definitely have to make sure I'm staying on top of my skincare routine um, because like it will get more severe if I don't. Um, but it's not anything like it was with my son. I will say I have had more like back knee, which is kind of like a TMI sort of situation. Um, but like definitely have more like acne on my back and my chest area. Um, I had that with my son, but I definitely feel like it's more prominent with this, with this pregnancy. Um, but I'm not exactly sure like what that is because I don't really feel that way so much with my skin. My skin is not great. Um, I definitely have like textural issues with my skin at this point. Um, that is new from this pregnancy, but it's not like I'm having like huge breakouts like I did with my son. Little, little into detail there, but that's there. There you go. 
Um, I also have a dark line down the belly, which I had that with my son. Um, it obviously gets deeper and darker over time over your pregnancy. I had that pretty severely actually with my son. Um, with this one, so far I haven't had that, but what I will say I've noticed is that my belly, <laughs> TMI again, has gotten kind of fuzzy. It's like, like way more fuzzy and hairier than I used to ever <laughs> be. Like, you know, like normal having like body hair, you kind of just had have that everywhere. It is like it's not colored or anything. It just looked like severe peach fuzz. I have peach fuzz all over my belly now. And I definitely feel like that has come with this pregnancy because I don't, I don't remember having that um, with my son. I just had that dark line. So now I'm getting to a couple of like, I don't think there's actually a couple of, this is just a fun question I decided to throw in just for the sake of it. I just thought it was kind of a fun one to answer. So this one is, weight my husband's weight gain and so it's really funny to me because that was something that him and I joked about when we started deciding to try to have another baby this time around is that he was like I'm not gaining the weight I gained with Henry and I was like yo I know he he actually he gained weight he um he definitely gained I think it was like close to like 30 pounds when I was pregnant with my son um and it was like the most bizarre thing because I was like it, it was like, I swear it's because he was like, I swear it's because you're pregnant. And I was like, don't blame that on me. Like I'm supposed to be gaining weight. Like you can't blame that on me, but it was just so funny. And this time around he, my husband's a very skinny guy. He's very skinny, very tall, very long, long arms, long legs, things like that. And, um, he, you know, he's obviously like, he's very health conscious also. Um, and so he's very physically active and, you know, things of that nature. So he's definitely not gaining weight like he did with our son, um, at all. He, but like I said, he's a lot, he, he was always active though. So I don't really know if it, if it was because of my pregnancy, like sympathy weight or what, but I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny to include because it is kind of a vast difference between the two. Um, so now I'm getting to the questions I received. They are actually kind of more about like any TMI things that I'd be willing to share, which obviously I've already shared a couple of different ones. Um, but this one specifically is what they asked for me to answer. And that is gas. If I've experienced gas or like passing gas and things like that. And funnily enough, I actually do have things to say about this. So with my son, I, I'll kind of answer both TMI questions that I have written down. Um, constipation is actually something that's like kind of significant during pregnancy, depending on the woman. Um, and with my son, I was very constipated the whole entire time. Um, it was definitely something I had to be very intentional about, like making sure I'm like staying on top of, like keeping that, you know, kind of taken care of. And so with that, with my son, I would wake myself up by passing gas in the middle of the night. And my husband and I were still at that kind of um, stage in your relationship. We were at like the honeymoon phase where it was like, oh, I don't want him to hear that I've like, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And so I would actually like wake myself up in the middle of the night from passing gas in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh man, like I'd wake up and be like, oh, did he hear that? <laughs> like I heard it, it woke me up, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, and then with this pregnancy, so that was with my son. With this pregnancy, no longer in the honeymoon phase, you know, where we've been married for going on four years now. And um, he, I, I haven't had any issues like that so far. Um, I feel like everything that everything's kind of normal, everything's kind of like more regulated, um, just like a normal person would be, you know, like as far as like gas and constipation, I haven't really had a whole lot of issues with constipation, thankfully, because that is just so hard to deal with. I feel like just generally makes you feel terrible. And, um, so gas along with that. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you have any questions or similarities with um, your pregnancies and like if you, you know, like I'm just interested to hear 
like I said, I've, I heard from a couple of other women before I filmed this to kind of get their opinions and to hear their stories and things like that, just friends and things of that nature. And um, it kind of went along with the, some of the things that I had said, so I figured it was worth sharing. Um, if you guys have any more questions about this pregnancy or like comparison between the two, definitely leave me a comment down below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying these pregnancy updates or want to follow along with us during this pregnancy. Um, go ahead and do so. We would love to have you. Um, until then, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.